What's going on everybody? Back with some more WNBA best bets. I got four picks for you guys today. Hopefully we can get the sweep. We almost got the sweep yesterday. Went four and one on our picks yesterday. The only one that missed was Porzingis with 16 points. Uh, he ended up having 10 in the first quarter. So how he didn't get 16, I don't know. But um, he couldn't get it for us. But anyways, guys, like I said, we got four today. We didn't get 200 likes in our last video. So I'm not picking a random winner for free VIP. But if we get 200 likes in this video and 50 comments, I'll pick a random comment to win free VIP. If you guys want to get all of our plays, head on over to our Patreon. $25 a month, you get everything we post. We cast two more 10Xs yesterday. This one right here, this little slip was like, I think the first slip we posted yesterday. Ended up cashing for us. Then we, this was the first one. Ended up cashing for us too, a little nine and a half X. So smash the day yesterday again on these plays. We profited another probably 10 units yesterday if you played all of them. But anyways, guys, hopefully we can do that again. I do have a couple of uh, plugs, and then we'll jump into these picks. Jump into these picks. But first plug is for DGF or DG Fantasy. If you guys are confused, what this is, it's an optimizer. It's a tool that takes all of our plays from apps like Prize Picks, Underdog, uh, Better, any of the apps you probably use. It's going to be on here. Anyways, it gives you percent odds to hit. It compares every line back to Sportsbook to get that value. You also get a um, positive EV value on certain on certain uh, sites but anyways guys love the platform makes line shopping super super easy this is just for WNBA I can go over here I can clear all and then select all right here I probably could have just hit select all but anyway if you look at all of them obviously there's gonna be way more plays for you so if you guys want 25% off DGF use our link down in the description you also get a free month of VIP for every month you keep DGF and uh, they do have something new called the AI Slip Generator. So if you click Tools up here, go to AI Slip Generator. It pulls up slips for you guys. And uh, I'm a little bit late on to the, a little bit late on the party because these get removed really, really, really quick. So if you're watching this AI Slip Generator, the slip's gonna pop up. You click it, and then you click uh, Place Bet, and it's gonna automatically populate the play into your app. So if you're using Prize Picks, you don't have to go and search for plays. It automatically populates for you. Highly recommend you guys have it. The other one is called Rebet. If you guys are new to uh, to sports betting, whatever, then highly recommend you guys have Rebet. It's an app just like Fliff. You can get it on iOS devices only right now. It's available in 47 of 50 states. The only three it's not available in are uh, Michigan, Idaho, and Nevada. So if you're not in those three states, you are good to go to play this. You get a free month of VIP for signing up. Just use code ACES, link in the description, and make sure you guys give Rebet a try. I love the platform. But anyways, guys, let's go ahead and jump into these free picks, starting with our WNBA plays for today. The only game we have is in, uh, the Fever versus the Sun. So we have Caitlin Clark playing tonight. I was looking at that 19 and a half points, man, and I wanted to take it over. I really did, but I just can't do it versus the Suns, and I'll show you why here in a second. I ended up taking a Clark prop, but um, I ended up being an under, so we'll pull that up first. But look at that Caitlin Clark. We took her under five and a half rebounds, and let's see here. Rebounds under five and a half. You got 54% chance to go over. Minus 136 on FanDuel. Minus 135 underdog. It's still 119 on prize picks. So get this on prize picks while you can. Hopefully it doesn't get bumped down. Yes, yeah, she's cashed it five of her last ten. She's cashed it. Uh, she's been under this both games versus the Suns. You can see she had zero one game and then three the next. If you look at minutes, she played 32 minutes with zero rebounds, 28 minutes or 27 minutes with three rebounds. So she's been struggling versus Connecticut. If you come over here to 2024 season, she's cashed it uh, six over 12 games. Yes, she can She can destroy that number, but looking at the Suns, they give up first in rebounds, which is the lowest amount of rebounds in the league. So don't give up many stats at all, so, which is one reason I like the Caitlin Clark play. So taking her underboards as our first pick of the day. So Clark, Rebounds under five and a half. I think it's going to get bumped down. I take it down to five. I wouldn't go any lower than that personally. If you go to points, this is what I was looking at. She uh, last two games versus the Suns, she got 19 and she got seven, uh, 17 or 20 and 17. So she cashed one game, missed the other. They give up the least amount of points in the league. I think she can get to 20, man. I really do. I just it's a little bit too risky in my opinion. But um, if you want to take that play, you could as well. But first pick was Caitlin Clark under 5.5 rebounds. Now, jumping over to the other side of this game, going over to Alyssa Thomas once again. This is a prop that has bit me in the butt once already. I'm going to give her another try, and this prop is so high. I'd hate the number that it has, but I do think that she can get it. So we're going over to rebounds and assists. They have her at 19. So it's 19 on prize picks and underdog. 54% chance to go over. Why is it? These are two are the same. Um, oh, one's 19. I'm so, dude, I'm so blind. Like, my eyes are 
I need to get them checked for sure. But anyway, you got a 54% chance to go over and under because we're kind of a coin flip right here. But if you click Alyssa Thomas, she cast it four of her last 10 with one a push, one being a push. So five of last 10. If you look at her last 20, kind of the same thing. Nine, nine of 20 if you count the push. Head to head, she's been over at four of six games versus the Fever, though. All three games this season, or two games this season so far, she's cast 23. And then her last game of last season, she had 22. So she smashes the Fever. If you look at the fever, they give up seventh in rebounds and the ninth in assists. A really good value there on those two. And if you go 2024 season, she's catching it five of ten. So I like to play just because it's versus Indiana. I think that she can uh I think she can pull it out tonight. So I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna risk it again. 19 is an incredibly high number. She's gotta have 20 to cash, but I am gonna take this chance tonight. If you don't want to play this one, I don't rec I don't uh blame you at all because that number is insanely high. But she's been killing it, man, and I gotta Got to give her props for the due. I'm, I'm going to give her a chance tonight. So those are our two WNBA plays. we got Caitlin Clark under 5.5 boards and Alyssa Thomas over 19.5 rebounds and assists. For our next two plays, we, we will be jumping over to MLB. So um, make sure you guys stick around for these two plays. Your boy's got to stretch a little bit. Ah. Let me go ahead and uh, get everything swapped over. So first play for MLB, we are going to be jumping over to an earned runs play Taking the under here, taking our man Rodon. So taking him under two and a half earned runs. Uh, right here, minus 115 ish odds. So coin flippers eyes on this one as well. 53% chance to go under. If you click this, he's catched at seven of his last 10, 65% on the season. He went over his only game versus uh, KC last season, but uh, I think he's going to go under tonight. 2024 season, he's catched his 10 of 13 games. Looking at our man Rodon, he's given up two runs or less. And 10 of his 13 starts this season. His ERA is sitting right at three, even with that massive six game that he's had. Kansas City is a good team, man. They've had a good season so far. I think Rodon's going to be good enough to keep them under three earned runs, though. That's just my opinion. So I'm going to take a chance on our boy Carlos Rodon, take him under 2.5 earned runs. We will see what is uh what they have on prize picks. I did get this one on Sleeper. Um they have earned run. Wow, it's actually on here. They actually have the two and a half. So you can get it on prize picks as well. I didn't expect that. I figured they'd have it at one and a half or you take the over or something like that. But it is two and a half on prize picks as well. Highly recommend you guys lock it in if you can on there. Um, you can get it on sleeper as well. I do have a slip on here. On sleeper, the value is 1.75x, which I pulled up here for you guys. This is the slip we locked in. Carlos Rodon under two and a half earned runs. And then we got Dylan Cease over 7Ks or at least 7Ks. So if he pushes this number, he still cashes on a prize on on sleeper a little 2.3 x value here but um cool to see rodon on there so next pick you already guys already saw it going over to strikeouts <clears throat> where's that strikeouts and then we're going to go to cease take dylan cease over seven it's eight right now on these uh it got bumped to eight get this on sleeper man we just locked this in like 10 20 minutes ago something like that well, it's been about an hour. I lied. So it's been about an hour. Hopefully, it's not bumped on uh, on sleeper. Uh, we got him at seven plus. He's can I change this to seven? I'm just gonna do six and a half so it shows the cash. So he's he's got at least seven and six of his last ten. Sixty five percent of his last twenty. He uh, been under both games versus Oakland last season, but he's been over eight of thirteen games so far this season. Looking at uh looking at cease for. The, for the season so far, he has 93 strikeouts and in 77 innings, so well over one strikeout per inning pitcher. It's a great matchup versus Oakland. They're a team that strike out a lot. They're near the bottom in every offensive category. I think Cease is going to walk through this lineup personally. I wouldn't be surprised if I saw a double-digit strikeouts. We saw another 12 game. Wouldn't surprise me at all. I think he's getting at least seven tonight, so i got to lock in Dylan Cease over seven strikeouts or over six and a half if you can get it there anywhere. Probably get it on chalkboard and sleeper still. I will pull it up over here on prize picks just to see. Yeah, it is eight, like I said. Uh, you can't get his, you could take a goblin right here at six and a half if you wanted to. I personally wouldn't. Well, it is 1.3x on um on sleeper. So yeah, that could, that could be a goblin play. If you want to take that goblin, you could on prize picks. You could lock those two in together and then these two in together if you want, if you like all the plays. If not, then uh just fade the ones you don't like. But anyways, guys, those are our four plays for today. Once again, recap, Caitlin Clark under five and a half boards. Alyssa Thomas over 19 RA. Carlos Rodon under two and a half earned runs. And then we've got Dylan Cease over six and a half strikeouts. So make sure you guys get them while you can. Make sure you guys leave a like on this video. Drop a comment for your chance at free VIP. Go get our Patreon to get all of our formats. They haven't been posted yet. We're about to start posting these formats as soon as all the lineups are out. About to have a bunch of them posted. So make sure you guys get them. But hope you all have a great day. And I'll see you all in the next video.